Hey Dan Safarians, welcome back to my studio. So today I'll be showing you guys some really cool animals from my Takara Tomi collection, okay? They are mini figures. Check them out right over here, all placed on the table. They look very good. All right, so let's get right into it, okay? Let's go. Okay guys, so let's start off with this box right over here, which is a brand new box sent to us by a Dan Safarian. His name is actually Jeremiah. So thanks Jeremiah for sending this set for us to review. I'm quite excited about this, so let's open up and have a look. All right, you can see it actually contains different um, small little animals. Okay, so let's take a look at every single one of them inside this box. Right, so let's open up one of this first. Okay, we need to cut this open. It actually comes, um, it's actually brand new, so you have to open this up and um, have a look at what's inside. I may not know every single figure because there isn't like, you know, English text on this. I think this one, it looks like a raccoon. Yeah, it looks like a raccoon to me. A really cute and adorable raccoon so yeah let me place this right over here so it's a really really beautiful animal figure okay let's move on to our next one which is right here let's open up another box and um, let's have a look at what's inside this Um, this one, I can't remember the name of this little animal. It looks like a small little... I can't remember because I just seen it a few days back when I went to Night Safari in Singapore. I can't remember the name of this. If you guys know the name of this animal, please comment down below, okay? I know it is like related to a kind of um, fox. They are very agile, they are very intelligent. Alright, let's um, open up another one. Hopefully we get to know every single figure, the name of every single animal. Let's see, what is this? I have no idea what this is as well. It's not written on the box. Wow, it looks very, very adorable. It looks like a kind of um, squirrel, but the face actually looks like a rodent as well. Yep. Hopefully we can get to know every single animal. I mean, the rest will be so much easier. Okay, let's open up another one. It doesn't come with any English text, so that is kind of um, a waste. Otherwise, we'll be able to know every name. Oh, this one, it looks like a kind of um, a bird. It looks like a stalk to me. Very adorable looking, I must say. Let's open this up. Very, very nice. It also has a movable mouth, I think. You can only move it slightly because it's really, really tight. Okay, adorable looking bird. Looks like a stalk to me, I'm not too sure what is the exact species. Let's have a look at this one. Let's cut this open. This is a penguin, it looks like a rock hopper penguin, but I may be wrong. Yeah, it looks like a rock hopper penguin to me because of the hair. And um, yeah, it has movable flippers, which looks very, very cool. I think even for the beetles, I have no idea what type of beetles they are. So I really need the help of you guys, okay? Next, let's open up um, this one. Okay, let's see, what is this animal? Okay, if you take a look at this, it looks like an otter. Yeah, it looks like an otter. I think most likely, most likely is um, an otter. It should be an otter. But it looks so cute. Yeah, I'm not too sure. It's really hard to tell because they're like babies. But I think they, they should be otters. So I really need the help of you guys. This is like a feral, feral fox. I have no idea. So help me out. This one, hmm. 
I've never seen this animal before, so it's really hard for me to guess what it is. Okay, let's open up another one. So all these are pretty much like minifigures. Oh, this looks like a baby Cervell. I'm not too sure. It could be a baby Cervell. Looks very adorable. You can actually rotate on the head. Yeah, it looks very, very cute. We have one last one from this box. Yeah, too bad it doesn't have um, any names in English. Otherwise, I think uh, it'll be nice for us to know. Because I know that some of the bigger boxes, they actually con contain like a fact card for you to um, actually look at it. But this... I think this should be very simple. It looks like um is this an emperor penguin? I'm not too sure. Probably, probably an emperor penguin. Okay, I'll place this right in the middle. Okay, next let's move on to um this set right here, which is um much easier for us to um you know guess a name. Or rather, I mean it's not not to guess. The names are clearly there. I mean it's very easily recognizable. So let's open up our, our first one. So all of these are ba basically like our babies. So let's see, what is this? We have a brown bear. It's really adorable. This brown bear is actually standing on the two hind legs. So let me put this right here. Let's open up another box. Wow, this one is adorable. This is a tiger cub. Very, very cute and adorable. Super adorable. Let's open up another one. Um, this should be a hippopotamus. I mean, it's definitely a hippopotamus. Hippopotamus calf. It's quite dirty inside. No idea why, so you can see you have a beautiful hippopotamus calf. The teeth are actually very blunt. It's right here. Let's grab all of another box. Let's like this. We have our calf, a young cow. Very, very adorable looking. Put this right here. Next, next one we have. Um, I think this should be a piglet. I'm not exactly sure what is the exact species of this, but it should be a piglet. All right, let's move on and open up another box. This is a fawn, a young deer. You guys, have you guys like watched Bambi before? So this is basically like Bambi. Very beautiful young deer. Next one. Oh, this is definitely a piglet. Okay, this could be. I'm not too sure. It could be a, you know, a, a boar, a young boar. And this one is definitely a piglet. Super adorable. Last box from the um, baby animal set. Let's open this. Um, this should be a young raccoon. Let's do a comparison of the previous one. Oh, are they supposed to be the same? Oh, I don't think this is a raccoon anymore. Yeah, I think this one should be a raccoon. For this, I'm not too sure. But you can see this has a movable tail and this one has a movable head so they're kind of different all right let's move on to um this set right here why do we see raccoons again so let's uh, have a look at this i'll probably open this but i'll leave the beetles for another video because we have no idea what are the names of the beetles? 
I need to find them out before I, I make a video of it. This one most, most likely it's a... What is this guys? I think this is a fox. Yeah, I think so. Okay, it should be a fox. Let's open this. This is a red panda. Yeah, um, a baby red panda. Very adorable looking. Okay, next. We have a very young porcupine, I think. Or no, no, I think this is a hedgehog. It should be a hedgehog. I may not get all the names right, so I need the help of you guys, okay? If you guys know what are the names of the um, animals, comment down below. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, why do we have a baby? Why do we have an infant? This is creepy. Okay, alright, the infant, sh I'm gonna put it in right in front. Why? Yeah, why? I have no idea. I've totally forgotten that, you know, there is like a, an infant. That is kind of uh, scary for me. I mean, why are you mixing a baby with the animals? But, I mean, humans are, I mean, part of the animal kingdom, I guess. This is a baby, it's a puppy, it's a Shiba Inu. Yeah, it's a very popular Japanese um, species of dogs. Very intelligent, extremely smart. Yeah, um, they can make really good pets. Next, it's another one right here. Um, this is a cat. Okay. Well, why is this figure like so dirty? I have no idea, guys. I mean, it's wrapped in a plastic, kept inside a box. Yeah, I have no idea why it's so dirty. I haven't taken it up for like years. Maybe that's the reason why. Um, is this a raccoon? I I'm not too sure. I think it should. It looks like a raccoon. In our last box of the day. Okay, let's see. Watch this. A rabbit. Yeah, an adorable rabbit. All right. So these are basically all the different baby animals from um, you know my Sekara Tomi animals collection hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, yes I, I do need the help of you guys to name some of these animals okay so thanks for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye